Alright, here's me peeling a bunch of mangoes. Um, yeah, this is like the first like shot of myself actually noticing how tall I am. Uh, six feet three inches tall, uh, if you guys are wondering. Yeah, and I do most of my stuff around the house with my shirt off. That's I hardly wear a shirt when I'm inside, especially in the summer. So, even when I go out cycling, I don't wear a shirt. I try not to wear a shirt so I can get sun, get vitamin D, because you're supposed to expose at least 40% of your skin every day for 15 minutes. That's what I've heard. Yep, uh, right here I'm peeling about 10 mangoes. Um, they are a little overly ripe. Um, now as I'm, I've already ate the mangoes, I'm already doing this video. Um, I think about two of them are ripe. Or I think uh, a little too ripe and they got bruised and they were starting to mold so yeah that kind of sucked but um, after I eat these mangoes I'm gonna go on a long cycle I'm gonna try to hit 30 miles I already have a course planned out I'm gonna go to the farmers market and it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be a long ride and with a lot of videos coming so stay tuned All right, I didn't realize I was recording and stuff. Yeah, I do need to get over talking this long because I gotta accept my voice. You know, back at school, people, you know, just got me down and, you know, I never really liked to speak because they'd always just, like, kind of voice over me and, yeah, make me feel really bad, so... You know, in high school I started recovering from that because I found a bunch of people that actually gave a fuck about me. And uh, yeah, that helped a lot. And cross country, I was involved a lot, so that helped too. But now I need to take it a step further. Yeah, I'll be repeating 30 miles again. But my ultimate goal is to get to 50, which is twice the amount I'm supposed to do in a race. Oh boy, I'm out of road. open area to ride. It's really cool. This road now, there's no you know, sidewalk or anything, but this road isn't busy. It's not like a major road. It's like a back road. So the best thing to do is just to stay as close as you can. Oh. Just stay as close as you can to the side. How is that even legal? I couldn't even read it. You have to get like real close. Like, don't even know that this is actually a street. That is weird. This is what happens when you don't pay taxes. You get roads like this.
taxes suck, but you know what? It fixes these problems. Because this is just horrible. I don't know how people drive on this stuff. Whoa. Look at that. Like, that's just... Come on. Don't just give them more money. Make them get a job, get pay taxes. Come on. That's just stupid. up there. Alright, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright guys, I made it. Bought some strawberries. These are just, these are amazing. They're, they're just so much better than the store. Yeah, it's like all this. Not big today, it's only Thursday. On Saturdays they're really busy. Ah. Well, I'm probably just going to eat these. Add probably a cliff bar and then just uh, go back home. 
But, you know, not just go 30 miles like one way, just, you know, kind of enjoy it. But, uh, kind of have a better idea of where I'm going next time. So, and I'm taking my phone out all the time. Alright, guys. Little box of strawberries, I had that. Those were amazing. They were like a hundred times better than the ones at a grocery store. It's kind of hard to steer the bike because I got my hand here and the cliff bars right there. I brought like two cliff bars with me. Just in case I got hungry, which yeah, I predicted my prediction was correct. Now I got a 15 mile ride back. So I'm not, I don't think I'm going to record the, the way back because I just recorded um, the way here. It'd be the same thing. But when I get back, I gotta go to uh, my local ABC warehouse. It's really hard. Yeah, hold on, hang on, let me try this. And it's a little bit better. I wish I could learn to. I wish I could learn to uh, ride with no hands. <laughs> but it's very hard. Yeah, I, I don't have the trust yet. Yeah, so I gotta take my uh, car to my uh, ABC warehouse because they do car audio fixings there. Uh, my stereos just stopped working yesterday. So, and they're open today at around 10, so I gotta go there. Their way is uh, first come, first serve. They're not like booking appointments or anything. Alright, so that's what's happening today, and uh, when I get home, I'm going straight there, so see you guys there. guy and uh, the guy just went out to lunch so I have to wait around for about uh, 30 minutes to an hour um, yeah so I'm just gonna hang out here for a while and uh, the guy's uh, is gonna fix it up to see what's wrong with it but um, I'm gonna give you a little tour of ABC warehouse because uh, when I came here to get my thing installed, this is the first time I've actually been in an ABC warehouse, and it's it's actually a, a pretty cool store. This is the car audio place. There's a lot of grills in here now. Smoker. Look at that dead, bloody corpse right there. I'd put portobello mushrooms and you know 
roasted pineapple vegetables on here. You know, smoked vegetables, that's gotta taste so good. That's a nice, I like the case. <laughs> now that thing is huge. <laughs> and I'm gonna explore uh, Vegan Amino, which is this new uh, social networking app for vegans. Uh, if you want to, you can follow, you can, um, Follow me on it. Uh oh, gas prices are going up. Oh, fuck. So, where is it? Um, ugh. you know what? Okay, how is it in? Hang on, let me, I'm gonna go fill up with gas, actually. I told him to wait around, but I'm gonna go fill up with gas. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, guys, so I just got gas for uh, 2.30 at a shell. Uh, it was about just just under 10 gallons. I think it was like $23 or something. Or if that's right. Yeah, that'd be about right, yeah. Um, So what happened now? Okay, so when I got my, when I was coming back, because um, I had to drive back to where I live, the city, um, come back to here, um, I did some testing in my car and I tried the Bluetooth and it worked. It worked. Um, but I just told them, could you figure out, you know, like maybe why that happened? And, you know, I've been having some skipping lately, and, um... Alright, guys, I'm gonna go on, uh... Yep, this person named, uh, Funzo Feliso Henry. Uh... She asked the question... 80% of the time, I try to eat high carb, low fat. So I was excited to find two mangoes at Aldi for 1.9 pounds a pack. I'm sure you can get some for a bit cheaper elsewhere, but I'd like to know at your convenience. Plus, since she got a kilogram box of dates on Amazon for 15 pounds, and uh, I told her, uh, farmer's market, you can get mangoes a lot cheaper. I haven't seen dates, though, in my local one. And she said, yeah, I'll have to Google it. Yep. Yeah, if you guys want to get... Uh, cheaper fruit that's actually really good uh, see if you can find your local farmers market uh, see if you have one if you have to drive you know a few miles it's totally worth it because I mean I have to drive like 15 20 minutes to get it but you know I even have to go uh, you know like drive like almost an hour to Trader Joe's you know it's 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 totally worth it find me right here vegan technology I got that vegan for the animals for the planet for ourselves logo. And I have a little bio like this. Yep. And I had a gluten free and vegan tempeh burger yesterday at this place called Anna's House. Uh, I was very good with sweet potato fries. And that's my dad's uh, awesome vegan pizza he makes for me and my mom. It is really, really good. Yeah. Basically, you just go and um, I can create your own bio. You get notifications right here. You can chat with like, you know, public chats right here. You just tap add, public chat. You can create new ones and stuff. Um, I'm just in these ones right now. I don't really chat public, just if I want to, but I usually go in these posts and. Um, yeah, I just kind of look 
see what everyone's posts are and what they're up to. And, you know, this is much better than Facebook because I can talk to all these people because, you know, not maybe not all of them are vegan. Maybe some are trolls just on the app, but most people are vegan, so, you know, they're, they're fun for me to talk to. You know, I didn't like Facebook because, you know, I never really liked it you know, answer to him because no one really understood what I was talking about. But, you know, this is one where I can just, you know, say, you know, my thoughts and opinions and people will, you know, respect that because they, they kind of have an idea of why I'm talking like that. Not everyone knows why I say the things I say. <laughs> but, yeah, download a Vegan Amino. I'll show you in the Play Store. Yeah. Right here. There you go. Follow me. Oops. All right, guys. So, guy took a look at it, and um, he said the amp can go in protective mode. So, it says the amp can get really hot, especially when it's hot out. So, yeah, I do have it loud a lot. It can get very hot. But what he said to do was to, if you can keep the AC on and, uh, oh yeah, it is definitely hot. Here, so it doesn't matter. And uh, I'm just gonna see if there's any difference in the sound. Because, um, yeah. overheating it might be a little uncooling I I can't figure out how to tell hey guys <clears throat> excuse me um, man I've had the, the craziest day um, so I told you before that uh, um, my heater heat meter uh, temperature gauge uh, went all the way to like three quarters up to red and uh, I was like oh no because <laughs> I don't know I'm fr I'm far away from a like a like a car garage, like an auto shop, and uh, yeah, I was like, okay, I just think, of, okay, maybe I'm low on coolant, so I gotta figure out how to add coolant. And uh, first, I bought uh, the wrong kind. It was for a specific models of cars, and then I was near a Walmart, so that was good, because all they sold was uh, for all models. And I bought a uh, Presto, and it's back there somewhere. And, um, yeah, I did that, and, um, okay, I was like, okay, I'll read the owner's manual just to make sure there's no confusion or maybe I need to do something specific. Uh, I did that, and, um, I let my car sit for, like, an hour. You're, it says you're supposed to let it sit for, like, several hours, but I just let it sit for, like, an hour because I didn't have much time. But, uh, I gotta get, get over it. I know I'm supposed to be vlogging while I'm driving, but I'm, I'm okay. I never really drive with two hands anyway, <laughs> even though I should, but I, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, so I did that, and I uh, got a rag, uh, the radiator cap, I, I, I twisted it counterclockwise, and it didn't spurge or anything, no steam came out, and uh, I think I touched it, and uh, it was cold, so I was like, oh, that's why I let it sit for long enough. And uh, so I called my uncle, he's a car expert, and uh, he said, yeah, just pour it in the radio cap and uh, make you get a funnel. And um, If it doesn't work, then uh, there's an auto shop like four and a half miles away from where you're at. And, uh, you know, drive slow, and if it heats up, then uh, just pull over, let the engine cool down. But he also said to uh, uh, roll the windows down and uh, put the heater on high, even though it's summertime here. It's like 70, 70 something degrees out pretty hot well maybe not hot for some people but right now it's actually pretty hot because I'm in the Sun and uh, yeah I did that and um, after I talked to him I poured in the coolant and I was like okay I hope I did this right because it the green was the green liquid was um, it was at the top so I was like okay I maybe I put in enough all right so I make sure all the caps were on and I started the car it 
actually started up a lot better because my car has been having this and the check engine light it's not like maintenance required it's just because of the gas what they put in the the gasoline now it kind of triggers the sensors funny so it's not really anything wrong um, but it was blinking and for a while and uh, I didn't know why so it's like okay maybe I'll just maybe it'll resolve itself um, yeah did that and uh, I waited like five minutes for it to run and uh, it hasn't moved it's been in that spot for a while I was like okay now I'm gonna put the hood down make sure it's all good and uh, did that and uh, waited like two more minutes didn't move, so I was like, okay, let's try driving. And driving, okay. <laughs> I think I just fixed my car. It's the final test. I'm gonna turn on the AC. AC's on, not full blast, because I don't need a full blast. And uh, still hasn't moved. So, yeah, even though it's in the owner's manual, like, I'm so happy I fixed my own car. Because, you know, I'm not a car expert. But, uh, yeah, it just it seems really cool that, you know, you're able to fix your own car without actually paying someone to do it. That's just really cool. I know it's basic stuff. I know you car experts out there, if you're watching this video, you're like, oh, such a noob. But, you know, I haven't touched, really touched a car at all. All I do is drive it. And uh, to know that I can actually pour coolant now and maybe, like, do something else, you know, that's maybe, like, fix something else in my car. You know, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, definitely check your, uh, coolant levels if your car is running funny if it's starting up funny and um, yeah if your car kind of goes because I always had to put gas and it would take like seven seconds seven to ten seconds for it to like fix itself then it would start running fine but it was weird so if that's happening to you guys um, definitely oh, some guys Uh, they had to pull over. <laughs> I wonder if their coolant levels are off or something. All right. Um, yeah, that's all right. Major accomplishment for me today. I know it's in the owner's manual again, but you know, it's still the same time. It's pretty cool to be able to know you can fix part of your own car. That's that's uh, you know a little risky, but as long as it's in the owner's manual, it's it's just basic stuff. But still, that's really cool. All right. So. Uh, yeah, I haven't even fixed my own car. I fixed another problem that I thought was just something else, but no, that's... And I'm actually due for an oil change, uh, like another uh, 200 miles, so... Uh, I'm going to be doing that uh, probably next week. So I'll probably book an appointment. Uh, yeah, that's, um, that's it for today. Um, I have to work today, so it you know, kind of sucks, but I don't have to work tomorrow. And uh, actually, I might be thinking about you know dropping full time and you know, going to part time because you know it's just you know a very small you know increase in income. Uh, you know, I have to have more time for YouTube because I like doing this rather than working at my current job. And uh, you know, I have an extra day to edit videos because I have a lot of videos to edit. You know, I just it just keeps piling up on my desktop folder and uh, you know I'm trying to push them out as you know as quick as I can but you know the more days I record um, you know more I have to edit and uh, yeah I think I might need an extra day so I think I might try to change my schedule a little bit because uh, <clears throat> I don't want to do my job anymore it's it, it really sucks I'd rather do this and just kind of vlog my life and uh, you know, do uh, tech videos and stuff about veganism and, uh, you know, also blogging my life. It's it's kind of fun. You know? Uh, yep, so that's it for today. Um, uh, if you like the video, remember to like it. Uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Do not forget to go vegan. Save the animals. Save the planet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.